That Louis boy is not good for you. With all due respect, Dona, I think he's perfect for me. Even dad liked him and dad doesn't like a lot of people. Are you sure your dad really liked him and isn't simply putting up a facade to make you happy? What do you mean? George is much too nice to say it, but of course, he has dreams for his daughters. For both you and Kate, he wants a good man for you. A good man who can provide just like he always has. A good man who is worthy of you. But Louis is a good man. Being good isn't enough these days. Being good won't feed your future family. Being good won't provide for you. Louis can provide for me just fine. He is working class. And so, he is a hard-working man. Your father loathes him. Be grateful because he tries to hide it. But I know he doesn't like that Louis. George knows that Louis cannot give you the life you deserve. Louis is my fiancé, and nothing you'll say will stop that. Luke, Cher, you may not be my biological daughter, but you will respect me and do as I say. You will not marry Louis. You will not bring trash into this family that George worked his whole life to build. Dad wants me to be happy. He accepts Louis. Dad acknowledges that the man I will marry is not as wealthy, but is willing to work hard to provide for me. It's a no for me. You will not subject your father to pain by seeing you marry an inferior man. You don't get a say in this. I do, actually. I'm the lady of this household anyway. Don't challenge me, dear Cher. You disgust me. Parroting around this house as though you own it. It belongs to my mom and dad and them alone. Oh, trust me, darling. You'll see that I am right sooner or later. Hey, my old man. How are you, dad? Busy at work? Hi, dear. Lots of meeting today, but never too busy for my dear girl. Cute as dad. <laughs> Don't flatter your old man, dear. What is it that you want? New purse? Come on, Dad. Give me more credit. I'm just kidding, darling. I know you've moved past your shopaholic state. I know, right? Who would have thought that Sheriff Herbert will ever be practical? It's probably Louis' influence on me. That boy is treating you good, huh? It really is, Dad. Speaking of Louis, how did you like him? Very intelligent man. Very ambitious, too. As long as he treats you with respect, what say do I have? Really? You don't care if he isn't from old money? Darling, I only care for your happiness. Even if you marry into money, you're not guaranteed happiness, are you? I'd be damned if you marry a filthy rich boy like Carter Haynes who has as much attitude as he does money. I thought you wanted me to marry someone from our social circle. While Louis is making money enough to support himself, his family and me, he will never come close to the families we are surrounded with. As long as he makes you happy and works hard to provide for you, I have no say. I thought Dona said you wanted Kate and I to marry into money. More money for the family, more opportunities for the business, you know? What will I do with more money if my daughters are miserable? Daddy, I love you. I love you, darling. I genuinely like Louie and I will support your happiness above all. Thank you, Dad. Wow, I must have made an impression on your family. <laughs> you really did, babe. So much so that your sister wants to befriend me? I knew it was awesome, but not this awesome. Huh? What do you mean befriend you? Well, between the two of us, Kate is the more extroverted one. She's been texting me. You gave her my number, didn't you? Wait, I didn't know such thing. That's odd. How did she get it? And damn, what is she talking to you about? It's mainly just her trying to get to know me. I even thought you put her this. No way. Damn, she's even sending me selfies and videos of herself. What? What for? She might like you a little too much now. I'll just leave her on read. She might think I'm entertaining her when I'm just being polite. Your sister is getting quite out of hand. Is she still flirting with you? She's relentless, I swear, I'm not entertaining her at all. 
It's okay, love. I trust you. It's her that I don't trust. You guys have beef or something? I don't know. It just seems like she never warmed up to me. She has always kept me at a distance. And we were never close, I suppose. She and Donna always made me feel like an outsider in my own house. Damn, that bad? Well, you're not gonna be happy with the stuff she's been sending me. Why, what are they? She sent me this. A close-up video of a breast? Really? To an engaged man? She's insufferable and has no respect for a relationship at all. I call her to tell her to stop. And... She said you didn't love me and that I deserved a better woman, someone who wasn't self-centered and a materialistic like you. Wow, that's rich coming from her. And I guess she painted herself as a saint-like creature? Yeah, pretty much. I'll talk to her. Hey Kate, do you have a minute? I'm busy. I like someone there, I do more than just shop all day and party all night. I actually have work to do in the office. Oh, word? Is flirting with my fiancé a part of your office job? Flirting? Darling, I don't flirt, much less with your fiancé. Then explain those pictures and videos you've been sending him and also your relentless attempts in flirting with him via text. Maybe you got it all twisted. Are you sure he's not the one hitting me up? I saw all the teasing videos and photos you sent. Did it not care to you that I sent them because he asked for them? Don't make Louie look like the bad guy here. I know you, Kate. You're the one who's trying to make me look bad. It's not my fault that I'm way more attractive than you and that it bothers your man that he is actually attracted to me. No, he's not attracted to you. In fact, he called you up to berate you about those almost beauty photos you sent him, right? Berate me? Oh, police. Never. If anything, he was asking for more. He would say we could be good friends, if you know what I mean. You're a sick, sick woman who has no respect for your own sister's relationship. Get a life, you're a grown-ass woman. Oh, you're only my sister when it's convenient for you, huh? And get alive, really. You, maybe you should give that advice to yourself since you're all up in my ears scolding me. It's not my fault that I'm better than you. In your dreams. Cher, why on earth was I sat behind your sister? She wasn't supposed to take that seat. As usual, she forced her way through and I could scold her, not in front of dad. I could barely eat my dinner, she's crazy! I'm sorry you have to go through this, Louie. I just wanted a peaceful dinner with you and my family. I even thought Kate couldn't attend because I purposely set the date and time when I thought she was busy. It's not your fault that she's relentless, baby. Don't apologize. What did she do this time around? She was feeling my thigh the entire time. I tried to remove it several times. She even whispered seductively to me a few times. She was subtle, but aggressive. God, I despise her. I want to tell Dad so bad, but I just don't want to put a strain in mine and Kate's relationship more than it already had. I'll bear with you for her. I don't want to stare at you over this, but be okay. I love you. I love you too, Lou. How dare you interrupt my lunch with Mrs. Jensen just for you crazy stories about Kate. You won't entertain me otherwise. You embarrass me in front of my friends by saying all those make-believe stories about my daughter. Your daughter needs disciplining and it's about time you step up and hold her accountable. Instead, it seems like you're just egging her and encouraging her to make all these crazy advances. How dare you accuse me. You have no right to question my parenting or call out my daughter. She's a perfectly smart, beautiful, and well-mannered girl. Are we talking about the same person here, Donna? Your well-mannered girl is sending inappropriate pictures and texts to my fiancé. It's your partner who is pursuing her. My Kate has done nothing wrong. You need to stay in your lane and stop embarrassing both me and her. I now know why Kate is the way she is. You're just as big of a liar as her. 
She probably got her dramatic genes from you. That's enough, Cher Herbert. One more word about me and my parenting and my dear Kate, and I'm telling your father. Oh, by all means, tell Dad so he can see through you and see your insane antics once and for all. I've had enough! Your sister has pushed me over the edge! What did that crazy woman do now? You won't believe it! She went to my workplace and acted as though we were together! My co-workers were all so baffled! They even thought you and I broke off our engagement! Oh my lord! What the hell is wrong with Kate? I wish I knew! She kissed me square on the lips and I had to push her off because she was full of making out of me! She first tried to pretend like the goody to shoe girlfriend, bringing food and making sure I was doing good at work. There she! What happened then? I pushed her off and told her to stop acting like my girlfriend because I'm very much content with my fiancé. She then started crying, clearly embarrassed, but then she retorted because a crowd already had gathered and were curious on what was happening. And then? She turned it on me and said that I was the one who pursued her despite me being engaged. She said that I was chasing her and wanted to be with her so bad and now I'm turning against her. Kate is just unbelievable. Jonah isn't helping either. It seems like she's just encouraging her daughter to act this way. Maybe you should take this time to cool off so that they will stop. What? Cool off? But the wedding is coming, babe. We can't give them what they want. Let's just take some time away from each other. Maybe that will deter Kate because it seems like she wants everything and everyone who is mine. You bitch, you think she'll stop the pursuit of me when she thinks we've broken up? Yeah, because she's probably just doing all this because she wants to make me miserable. We'll see. Your breakup with Louis must have gone to your tiny brain. How embarrassing! The perfect Cher Herbert was late to a meeting with important investors. Oh, what would daddy say about his favorite daughter now? Get lost, Kate. Don't you have anything better to do? Besides, don't rejoice. We are only cooling off. We have not really broken up. <laughs> Whatever helps you sleep at night, dear. Who are you reassuring yourself? No one. I'm confident in mine and Louis's relationship. Oh, is that why he's now up in my DMs less than a week after you guys broke up? Quit the lies. No, you face the truth. The truth is you're going down, Cher Herbert. Not only have you lost the love of your life, but you've also made a terrible impression on the investors today. That will be furious. You sabotaged me. You sent an email saying that the meeting was scheduled at 9 when it really was at 8. That's your fault, honey. Why did you double check? But that's okay, you were a loss. They were all looking forward to dealing with me, not you. Don't flatter yourself too much. You're just a second choice. But at the end of the day, you still made a bad impression, didn't you? Miss Perfect no more. I have the crown now. Daddy's going to trust me with the business more now. Who's keeping score? The only crown you have is the crown of immaturity. You say that now? Let's see what your big mouth has to say when I'm seated on the CEO desk and I'm your boss. You'll be downgraded to a mere worker, a corporate slave, and alone with no boyfriend or fiancé. I'm not as naive as you guys think, you know? What's your problem now, Cher? No one is entertaining your crybaby and attention-seeking ass, so you're now stalking me? Oh, don't flatter yourself, Dona. I'm not stalking you. I just happened to overhear a very secretive conversation between you and the bank manager, Mr. Alcott. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, really? You don't know that about the large funds you've been taking from my dad's account? You even told Mr. Alcott? You sure no one is noticing anything fishy? His assistant? His account managers? I was just concerned about a close employee of your father who was caught attempting to steal from his bank accounts. Or was it you who was trying to steal? Or should I say was it you who was successfully stolen from my dad? Don't be ridiculous, little girl. You know nothing about all this, so shut up, will you? 
Don't call me a little girl. I am fully aware of what you're doing. You're intercepting his bank statements and replacing them with fraudulent ones, aren't you? So he would notice that his fortunes are dwindling right under his nose. You disgust me. I thought you were just a cold, heartless stepmother to me. But it turns out you're also a money-faced thief of a wife. Do not accuse me. You know nothing about me. I know you. He is my father for his money. You don't love him. You love the life he gave you. Because if you truly loved him, you would, after all these years, learn to love me too. Don't ever speak of this to anyone. No one would believe you anyway. Everyone knows your daddy's little spoiled brat. They would think that this is just your way to secure all his funds for yourself. I'm not telling anyone. Not because I want to protect you, but because I want to save my dad the heartbreak. One step out of line and I'm snitching. Stop your foolishness at once. Did you get the evidence we needed? Got it. Had to pull a lot of strings to access the bank manager's messages, but sure enough, tons of them are from Donna and you're right. She's been doing this under the table dealings with George's money. Oh, my poor dad. He loves this woman to bits. You've seen him, Lou. When he loves, he loves her deadly. I know, but you have to tell him. I'm still gathering other evidence to strengthen our case against Donna, but I'm already positive that this is a strong case already. Well, I first have to tell Dad that we got back together. And that the wedding is on. And that the wedding is on. <laughs> Are you sure you're down to marry into this life filled with drama? As long as I get to spend a lifetime with you, Cher Herbert. Really? You tried to sabotage my wedding dress too? What are you talking about? Quit accusing me, I didn't know shit. I refuse to believe that you've taken a more mature approach in life suddenly. That's what happens when your emotionally abusive mom finally gets on your nerves. What? Are you okay? Don't act so concerned. You're my sister, Kate. What is wrong? Mom is just too much for me right now, okay? Especially once she heard that your wedding was on and that you and Louis got back together. She repeatedly called me a failure, barely acknowledges my presence. So she thinks you failed in your mission of splitting me and Louis? Yeah, that's it. She basically wanted me to have everything you have and deprive you of every ounce of happiness. And you let her order you around like that. You don't know what my mom is capable of. She could be very manipulative, you know? Oh, trust me, I know. Yeah, and I'm just done sabotaging you. So no, I didn't switch your wedding dress to the wrong size. Jonah did. I figured. I'm sorry for accusing you. I get what you did it. I've spent a good part of the last few years trying to make you miserable. It's all good. It's in the past now, no matter how vile you were, especially with what happened with Louis. I just wanted to get my mom's approval, you know? Yeah, I get it. No, Cher, you don't. What? I envy you. Not because you're pretty, probably real smart, or well liked, but because you've always been blessed with great parents. I mean, yeah, we have dad. He's as supportive to you as he is to me. He loves you. I never doubted that. I did everything I had to fight for dad's attention with you. He loves us both, and he never failed to show that. He even sticks with us when we're in the wrong. Yeah, we're lucky. But your mom, you're so lucky, Cher. I was listening to dad tell you all about your mom and all her dreams for you before she passed and how I wish Donna was the same to me. I'm done being Donna's pet, being strung around whenever she feels like it and whenever it's convenient for her. You deserve better than that, Kate. I know, it's about time I do things for myself and not because my mother told me to for her own selfish gain. I'm rooting for you, Kay. You'll be good. You haven't called me that in almost 10 years. In a few hours, I'll be a bright. I'm marrying into another family. But as I walk down that aisle, I don't want my only sister to feel like she doesn't have a family. Oh good, darling. I hope you and Louis still enjoy your honeymoon despite the drama tonight. Never been better, Dad. The drama had to happen. It was over as quickly as it had begun. Surely it was, but I hate that your special day is tarnished because of Donna's antics. I'm sorry I had to tell you about her dirty dealings like that, Dad. In front of everyone we know. It's okay, darling. You did what you had to. 
She interrupted your wedding ceremony and attempted to stop it, spitting lies about Louis' infidelity once again and tried to break your relationship apart. That was a low blow. She never ever learned. In fact, I also found out today that she was the mastermind of all this. She put her daughter through all this misery for her own selfish gains. Great, she was using Kate right under my nose and I didn't try to stop it. He couldn't have known that and Kate doesn't blame you at all. I know, but I blame myself. If only I had been aware of all this, Jonah wouldn't even have to be invited to your wedding and she wouldn't have a chance to cause a scene. Dad, Louis and I reassure you that it's okay. Try as she made to ruin our special day, nothing was ruined more than her reputation. That's true, I was a guest to know that she has been stealing money from me. But I had a hunch all the time. Yeah, the evidence Louis had is solid. And everyone heard it, Donna's dirty dealings with the bank manager. Yep, cold hard proof. Oh well, my lawyers are already working overtime tonight to get to it. Donna will live and scattered. I'll sue her down to the last penny for everything she did to me and all the hurt she caused not just to you but to Kate as well. Dad, thank you. Don't take me, darling. I had plenty of shortcomings towards you, especially when your mom passed. Physically, I was there, but emotionally, I failed to give you the support you needed and maybe that's why Donna thinks she can push you around all these years. You never lacked one bit, Dad. I could do a lot better, and I will make sure I'll make up for all those things I failed to do, especially to Kate. Yes, Dad. Donna was also cruel to her. On the surface, she puts on the caring mother who wants the best of a daughter facade. But deep down, she controls Kate's life and manipulates her tirelessly. I look out for a sister, don't you worry. And Dad, take care of yourself, alright? Promise me you'll be okay. I'll be fine, honey. I love you. Extend my congrats to Louis again and I wish the both of you a lifetime of happiness. Thank you, Daddy. I love you so much and I may have become Louis's wife today, but I have always been and will forever be your daughter. You may have successfully exposed my deceit to everyone, but I will not go to jail, little girl. I'm not done with you. You ruined mine and Kat's life, you selfish bitch. No, Dona. You ruined your own life. Don't drag Kate into this anymore. She's done being someone you can use as a pawn. Now you turn my daughter against me too. I knew it. The moment she stood up against me and called me out in that church in front of everyone to see and hear, I knew you've poisoned her mind too. I didn't know such thing. Kate decided on her own that she's done being manipulated by you. You'll pay for this, you son of a bitch. You've ruined my career, my reputation, and took away my husband and daughter. I will get you. No, you won't. I'm off to relax in sunny beaches and sightsee Europe while you will in cuff behind bars. We're not the same. You sure you'll be good there, Kay? I'm good. I'll keep that company while we wait for Donna's arrest. You'll be okay, Kate. It will hurt. That's your mom after all. But you'll be fine. You're strong. I know. I just have to mourn even just for one night. She's still my mom, no matter how terrible she was to me and everyone else, especially you. You did the right thing, exposing her. If you hadn't, the cycle will repeat itself. She'll attempt to control you and it goes on and on. Thank you, Cher. What for? For helping me realize that I'm strong, for believing in me no matter what happened in the past, for giving me another chance. That's what sisters are for. Have fun with Louis, you see. For the record, I'm genuinely sorry for everything that I did to you. But I'm happy for you, this time I really am. Thank you, Kate. A month later, Louis and I are finally wrapping up our month-long European tour and heading back home in New York where my dad, who was newly divorced, awaited us. In a short span of time, dad not only managed to get himself divorced from Jonah, but also built a strong enough case against her for stealing his money and embezzlement of his company's fund. Jonah is now being sentenced to 20 years behind bars. Kate did not take this well at first and was devastated that her mother, no matter how horrible she was, was going to prison. 
but with the help of dad, she managed to get over it. She's now in a trip of her own in Asia where she hopes to find herself and heal from the years of trauma her mother put her through. Louis and I gifted the trip to her as a sign of us making peace with her. I'm still unable to comprehend the happenings at my own wedding even a month later. It, it felt like a fever dream to know that my stepmother attempted to stop the ceremony and told everyone of make-believe stories about Louis' infidelity. But it ended up big firing on her as Louis exposed her for the dirty dealings in the bank. Not only was the evidence against her concrete and strong, her own daughter even spoke against her. That turned out to be her ultimate fall from grace. But despite the dramatic turns of events, I'm grateful that I now have a loving family in the form of Dave and Kate. Plus, Louis and I are now trying to have a baby. I can finally be perfectly content after that whole wedding fiasco.